Okay, so here we go. Today we have an antique two-piece step-back cupboard. And as you can see, it has a beautiful distressed finish. Very nice. And actually, if you can see the wavy glass, I'm trying to show that to you. You can see the way the light hits that a little bit at the top there. But it has the all four pieces are the old original wavy glass. It's kind of unusual how the top of the cabinet, if you see there, it's very stepped back from up here at the top. This is quite an overhang, and you're looking at probably five inches of a step back there. It's uh, a home-built cabinet, meaning it's not by a cabinet maker or somebody like that where it would have been professionally built. This is something that a homeowner would have built for themselves. I love this piece. It's really one of my favorites. And uh, we have a little provenance from this. This came from Zellner's Fruit Market in New Oxford, Pennsylvania. And uh, the picker that I bought this from actually frequented that fruit stand when he was a kid. And uh, he went to that market when he was a child with his family. And now that he's, I have no idea how old the guy is, later 50s, early 60s, I'm going to take a guess. And uh, he heard that this place was closing and he remembered this from when he was a kid and went back there to see if it was still there, which it was. And uh, I guess he knew the people and got in the door, which those pickers, they have a knack to do. And uh, he bought this for me from the uh, original market. The drawers actually work pretty nice. They have a nice old painted surface. I'm sure this whitewash finish that the drawers have is what the entire piece would have had at one point. And uh, at some point, somebody had the idea to strip it down to bare wood and they were going to refinish it. But what you can see, they never finished it. And I just really think it's cool just the way it is. You know, because a lot of times you'll buy something new that's distressed, tried to make to look old. And here you have an actual old piece. And it's just wonderful. I really, really like it. Now, if you wanted to kind of clean it up a little bit, you could take a clear, uh, neutral paste wax and uh, kind of rub it out if you'd like to. Give it a little bit more of a finished look. And on the inside of the cabinet, you'll see that it has the old white paint. And that has some flaking and loss. It's just really nice. Now, the only thing that we did to the piece is you can see that these windows were originally glazed in. A lot of that was missing. So where it needed, this one had enough that we left this one in. This is the original glazing on that window the other windows we actually added there's little wooden sticks there that we tried to paint to match into the old original paint and uh, it was just not secure enough before the glass so we did that before the glass is like if you tried to clean the glass and it would want to bend and glass doesn't bend very well before you know at that time you'd have a broken glass so we made those nice and secure for you and then on the drawers, we might have just waxed them a little bit so they would slide nicely. But that's it. This is just a great, great find. A nice Pennsylvania original two-piece step back. And one of the interesting things about this, this is little beaded detail. So like right here, you've got one, two, three, four little beaded lines. Now, when you close the door, guess what you see? Two more beaded lines close the other door, you're going to see two more again. 
You will not find a professionally made cabinet where you're gonna have eight beaded lines. It's just not the way it's done. That's the way this one's done, but it's a homemade piece, okay? Now back in the old times, you didn't run down to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy every tool you ever saw or thought you might need. You know what I mean? People have a garage filled with things they never use. Here, this guy must have had a little beaded plane, and he wanted to get his use out of it, because there is beaded edge everywhere. Now on a typical piece, in case you're not familiar, a typical piece would just have this outside edge would have the beaded edge. So it has it here, it has it here, and then it has two on the door. That's just not the way it is. This little center mullion coming across the divider on the door, that has two beaded lines there as well. And then when they stripped it, all of those lines are accented by the remnants of the original white paint. It's just great. Now the hardware on it is a Victorian era hardware. Now the piece is not quite that old. This was repurposed, reused hardware when this piece was new. Because this is not an 1860s, 1880s cupboard. This is more going into 1880 to 1900. So this was hardware that this has, you know, that somebody had repurposed when they built the cabinet but it all matches. You can see, hopefully, there's a little bit of a green tint there, okay? Every piece of hardware has that. So you can see that this is the original matching hardware. It's completely the way I got it. So this is the hardware that everything had, you know, on this piece for years and years. But it is, it is repurposed reused hardware. The hardware's a little older than the cabinet is. Now, now hopefully you can see there's a little bit of a lean to this cabinet. That's not just the way this camera angle or it's just sitting at a funny angle. That's just how this piece kind of settled onto the floor that it was in. You know, the floor was an old building and might have had a curve to it and it just kind of nestled in there. That, there's a technical term for that on a cupboard like this. That's called cattywampus. It's just a cool cabinet. I love it. There's the old original backing. Nothing been replaced. That's the way that was built. That's the original back that it's had forever. Let me see if I can just pull that front for you a little bit and you can get a little more light on it. So it's in really nice condition. It was sitting in the fruit market forever. So the bottom, it's worth mentioning, that's in really good condition. Oftentimes these were going to be out in a dirt floor barn or a dirt floor basement for storage, you know, at some point and then the cabinet will get some rot. That's not the case on this. But it is a bit cattywampus. It's got a little bit of a lean to it. So if you're looking for some charming piece, and here's another little design thing that's worth noting. This guy was not a cabinet maker. So see the way here at the bottom, this is just stepped in. This, this piece here is just overlapping this piece. He's trying to simulate that it was a raised panel. He couldn't make a raised panel, so he just kind of tried to achieve that look. So that's your left bottom door. That's your right bottom door. It just has a really nice color to it. I like everything about it. I think it's awesome. You know, why go to Pottery Barn and buy a one in a one of a million, you know, they make a million of the whatever they're selling there. Here's a one of a kind heirloom piece. If you have any questions, you can email us. We do have blanket wrap shippers that will deliver this anywhere. And then there's uh, various different delivery services we use. You can get this up from New York City uh, all the way down into DC. We have a couple different guys that do deliveries and work in houses in those regions. You can let us know. Uh, you can get this delivered anywhere in the country if you like. It's a really special piece. I hope you like it.